Welcome, this is Chris Tui, and just came up with a quick example. Now, I think it was Bruce Lill who talked about the other day creating a computed text instance, putting it into a Lotus Notes form, and using that to generate pass through HTML that actually creates a read only table of data absolutely brilliant idea. I thought to take that a step further and make it a little bit more interactive. So I've come up with the computed pass-through example which will be available on the site for download. Very simple application. I have a group of links here. Now I'm going to click and create a new entry. Now all of this is based off of my web UI like uh, or web UI in Lotus Notes example. Uh, again, you can download this and play around, but this is just a layer. Uh, let's say this is your personal address book. Now, I have here basic web links and such, but I'm going to use a notes URL. And when I submit that, you can see automatically appends. Now, this is all passed through HTML. You can see from the status bar down here what the URLs are. It accepts mail twos, it accepts HTTP based URLs, and even accepts address book entries. Pretty slick. Let's crack it open and look at what we have under the hood. So a very, very basic, where are we? There we are. Uh, we'll open this up in Designer. So the entire application, if we look at the um, application properties, There we go. So we're going to look at the launch. And we're just opening up a frame set called Notes Launch. So we'll first take a look at that. Our frame set Notes Launch is a single frame, frame set, telling everything to open up in underscore blank, which is a new instance. Uh, we called it Notes View just to maintain some semblance of standards. Uh, it is a single frame. I did that by creating a double frame and deleting one of the frames, setting this. Now, the value stored in here is the form UI. So let's crack that open. We take a look at the form UI, and it's pretty basic. Now, the you'll see here, here's the layer pop up. I'm actually going to move this around so we can get a handle on There we go. Okay, so we can get a handle on the computed field. All this computed field is an implode DB lookup to a view pulling back a column. Now on the flip side, new entry just pulls up. It uh, grabs the, um, sets an environment variable and refreshes and reloads the window, making this a pop-up. So when you go through that or you cancel, all it's doing is refreshing the UI view. So it's it's cycling through, makes it look like it's actually doing something. That's not the purpose of this though. Let's go into the view. Now our view, this is where we're running the DB column. All that is is some very simple pass through HTML. I'm creating a P entry. Uh, paragraph uh, using an A link setting the target frame just to make sure that it accepts the underscore blank and opens in a new instance using field 2 and field 1 arbitrarily named. I would have used title and label but I didn't want anyone thinking that this functionality was specific to notes item names. Now I also included the form document here it's not used. This is a very simple example of using a a non form equals document interface in creating notes applications. It's also pretty slick and a great proof of concept. I'm just going to say no here. Great proof of pro concept for this approach. If you have any questions, comments, you want to see this thing, check out www.dominoguru.com and let me know what you think. Take care.